Sound Show. I'm Gilbert. I, I, I like weed, too. Yeah. I say you like weed, too. But I also like weed. Yeah. Is your vector torch dead? Have you been eating a lot of creme brulee lately? Huh. Well. <laughs> you know. Well, if your torch has gone out, don't throw it away. There's an easy way to fix it. And I'll show you today here on Vector Torch Mods and Repairs. Oh, <laughs> wow. That was cool. For this project, we will need a razor blade, some electrical tape, some random electronic lighters, a little teeny screwdriver, and some wire snippers. Take apart the lighter and retrieve the electronic ignition. Take the razor blade and cut off some of the protective coating on the wire to expose the wire underneath. I don't know what the deal is with these electronic ignitions, but it seems like every lighter uses the exact same ones. And it's the same exact one that Vector also uses, but is there just one company that makes these things? Getting into your Vector is not hard at all. It's easy as one, two, three, four. There's only four screws to take off the cover of your Vector. Inside your Vector, please note these areas. The child safety switch, the push button, and the electronic ignition switch. Remove the torch's electronic ignition switch, making sure to leave as much wire as possible on the torch. Replace the torch's switch with the newly acquired switch. Securely attach wire to wire. Then make sure to cover any exposed wire with electrical tape. By not putting the child safety switch back in, you don't have to push it down every time in order to activate the torch. Tuck everything neatly back the way it was, making sure not to pinch any wires. Make sure that the flame adjustment knob is properly placed before reassembling. Then just reassemble your torch. I don't know what the deal is with these electronic ig I don't know what the deal is with these electronic ig I don't know what the deal is with these electronic ignition